Amazon growing, man. Look, the growth of healthcare. Amazon has announced its healthcare program will be available for Prime members at $9 a month with the One Medical. Look at this path right here that they done took. So, first, they AWS provides shovels and Legos for healthcare. The, here's their pharmaceutical wheel. They got pill pack in 2018. That's the one they got from Nas. Nas cashed out on that. Then they got the Amazon pharmacy they dropped in 2020. Let's look at it. Pharmacy, pill pack, one medical. Here's how they, this is it. This is crazy. Launched in November 2020. One medical, prime uh, acquired for 3.9 billion. Senior medical, and it's online. Now watch this. This house is going to really be dope because when you go to one medical, you know that Walgreens, you know, they got the in-store thing. What happens when Amazon uses Whole Foods for you to go get medicine? Sit on that, Jose. Sit on that. What happens when Amazon says you can now do your pickup at Whole Foods? Now, Walmart... CVS, Walgreens got a product because Rite Aid done went bankrupt already. Walgreens and CVS and Walmart gonna have an issue. Once they say it, yo, y'all can pick up medicine now at Whole Foods. It's coming. We watching the healthcare giant in the making. This was interesting to me. Here's why it was interesting to me. Because Snapchat had already had a good earnings call because they said what? They said that they were adding ad tiers to Snapchat. So that boosted the earnings call as it was. The stock rallied off that. Secondly, because they now are now adding Amazon, and you can put a direct link to Snapchat to Amazon, and buy your stuff directly there, this is an ad tier and a partnership. Now, watch this. This is amazing for Amazon because they already got a partnership with who? Meta, Snap, YouTube. Amazon has partnered with Meta, Snap, YouTube, and Pinterest. That's it. Meta, Snap, YouTube, and Pinterest. Amazon has partnered with them. I think Amazon going to take Walmart, bro. Jose, this will mark my word. Amazon already going to be the number one. They already the number one web service in the world. They're going to be the number one online retailer in the world, bro. Mark my word. These partnerships going to put them in a whole new stratosphere. You know why? More people are on YouTube than any other thing in the world, bro. Streaming. So what happens when you get them Amazon ads back to back? Let's go a little further, family. So watch this. You got six companies that control the media. Eight when you add YouTube and Facebook and Meta. Watch this. So you got News Corp. They own, you know, they under Fox, Hulu, 21st Century, all that. And then you got Time Warner. They the only one that's not public no more. Then you got Comcast. That's where you get CNBC, NBC. All them over there. That's the parent company. Then you got Sony. Then you got Viacom. That's where you get BT, MTV. And then you got Disney. You got ABC, ESPN. Shout out to ESPN. They just dropped the ESPN bet today. Right? Let's go a little further to it and let's show them something. So watch this. Who controls what you watch? So look. News Corp, NWS, ticket symbol. The reason why I'm showing this is because they all own the stock market except one. They all own a stock market except one. Yep, Hulu, Disney just bought Hulu, right? So look at this. News Corp, ticker symbol NWSA, up 14%. Comcast, up 20%. Sony, up 10%. Viacom, which is under Paramount now, Paramount Global, is minus 28%. And Disney is up 20% year to date. And then when you take in Facebook and you take Facebook up 100 and some percent today, you take Google up 40 some percent year to date, you understand that everything that you watch, the people that control what you watch, they actually 
are on the stock market. So I'm not telling you to buy any of them. I'm just saying this is the game. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lack the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on a journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two-hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just a book club. Everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy, Wall Street Traveler. See you in the trap. All right, Home Depot gives hope, man. So today, Home Depot didn't have a really good earnings today, but they did say some. Home Depot said they give a fresh outlook on the economy, and they simply said, yo, we think the worst of the inflationary environment is over. Home Depot said that. The earnings wasn't that really good. They had an okay bottom line, but guess what? The stock rallied 5% based on that kind of news. Just them saying. Just them saying. Just them saying. Don't get him out, Jose. Don't kick him out. Don't kick him out. Don't kick him out. Let Malik stay, man. Let Malik stay, man. Let Malik stay in the... Let him stay in the chat, man. Let him stay in the chat, man. We like Malik. Malik, we love you, brother. We love you, brother. We... Yeah, you keeping in game. We love you, Malik. Listen, man. Yeah, Malik, just like us, Malik. Malik, just like it, bro. Just like it. Just do that for us, bro. You feel me? So... Uh, we got big earnings coming up this week from Walmart and Target. Now, I will say this to everybody in the chat. Home Depot sold by 5% today. If Walmart and Target have an earnings that, that if they, if the mark, if they earn is, I think Target going to miss. But I'm interested to see Walmart. You think they're going to miss? Jose, put it in the chat right quick. Walmart, Target, make a miss earnings or something like that. Walmart earnings, make a miss. Target earnings, make a miss. Right? Walmart, make a miss. Target, make a miss. What you feel? How you feel? Let's go! Ah! Hey, so I want to see it. Jose going to put it in the chat. Tell me how y'all feel. So what you got for Walmart? Make or miss? I like Walmart. I'm not going to lie. Let's see Target. Let's see Target. <laughs> Shout to Jazam X. <laughs> Shout out to Shazam X. <laughs> All right, let's go. Target earnings, make a miss. What we doing? Target earnings, make a miss. What we doing? Ooh. Target earnings, make a miss. How we feel? I ain't going to lie. I don't believe in Target. J187, I see you, fam. All right, so I'm with y'all. I think Tar I think Walmart is going to get a push. I think Target is going to get a flush, y'all.